Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show you how to detect a layout shift on your page when you interact with a page from your task. Imagine you have a page and you have a button and if you click the button notice what happens. We like the items. And the layout of elements doesn't change. Only the element with a heart changes. But sometimes when changing a class or a style you might accidentally shift the rest of elements maybe by one or more pixels. How would you detect that and prevent that? I'm gonna change the layout class so that when we like the item, it changes the pattern inside the heart element, shifting the rest of elements on the page. So look at the text after. If I click on a button, it shifts by one pixel. Really annoying, I would say. Here's what we can do from a Cypress test to detect this and stop it from happening. We can get the element that is after the element that changes. So in this case, it's sci get element with ID other. And we will have its property offset top be representative of layout. That's where this element is vertically positioned with respect to its parent, which is probably like body element. So we'll say should have prop offset top. Now this yields the actual value of that property and we can say should be a let's say number and by using should be a number we reflect that value right here in the command line 188 then we get the value so anytime you get a value from the app you pass it to a callback side then offset top so this is our initial value now we can find the button it contains button like and we're gonna click on it Okay, we can see that the layout changed. Now we have to just make a right assertion to detect this change. So we're gonna get the same button. We're gonna use the same assertion, should have property offset top, but now we know the expected value, that's the initial offset top. So when you use this format with half prop, the name, name of assertion, offset top, that's the parameter for a property, and then value, the assertion will evaluate by property and compare it to expected value. Let's see what happens. Well, right now it shows that it expected a value of 188 and the value was 189. So we detect the layout shift by one pixel and the test failed. If we had no shift, if everything was correct, then we would correctly detect that the value remained unchanged. So this is how you can detect layout breaking changes when you interact with the app. This example is called layout shift and I'll link my whole repo with all these recipes and examples in the description of this video.